elephant in the room. I've dyed my hair bright red. I think it actually looks pretty good. Anywho, today's um, video is really exciting. So today I'm gonna be turning shorts, jeans into shorts, into crocheted shorts. My initial prototype was done on a pair of Levi's skirt, a, a Levi's skirt I'd bought maybe like three or four years ago. And yeah, just on a whim, I thought, you know what? I keep seeing people crocheting into denim. I'm gonna give it a go. Great timing because my boyfriend was throwing out quite a few of his old jeans and I had been going through some of my wardrobe. So I've ended up with a massive collection of jeans. Some of them um, are jorts, some of them have rips, some of them are cargoes, but it's a good selection to work from. By no means is this like a formal tutorial, but I will explain the thought process of how I do all of this as we go along, so don't you worry. I'm gonna get myself prepared, and while I do that, all the things we're gonna need for this is on the screen right now. It's super simple. You should have most of it already in your house. Talking to them. <laughs> I'm going to show the people how to crochet into jeans. Yeah. Okay, so I am starting this off on a pair of jeans that my boyfriend had given me very kindly. Um, and as you can see, I did a very slanted cut, which is not a good idea at all. If you're doing this on a pair of jeans, I recommend cutting straight across as you usually would because I had to do a lot of fixing and reworking this to try and get it to level out. Here, I'm trying to find the best place to insert my Zato knife. I decided to go a little bit further up than the hem, so I didn't end up slicing through the hem itself. And I'm putting my Zato knife in one way, making a slit, taking it out and going up, making a slit, and back down. And that kind of gives a sort of like a star shape, which makes it a lot easier to get your um, crochet hook into and your yarn. You want to go ahead and do this across the entire hemline of your shorts. It did take a little bit of time and you do have to be quite careful not to slice your fingers open or anything like that. But it's worth taking your time on this because you don't want to mess up and make the holes too big or make them too close to the hemline or make them too far apart. You will have a tough time trying to work your yarn into it. I would say that the closer you work your holes into the fabric, the more frilly it will look once you crochet. So if you don't want a really frilly hem and you want something that's a little bit more relaxed, a little bit looser, go ahead and give a little bit more space than I have in this video. Once that was done, I created a slip knot, attached it to my hook and inserted it on the inner hole. So the one that's like where your crotch lines up with the button hole and everything. <laughs> um, that's just the best place to kind of hide the slip knot that you would do at the end of the round. As I'm going along, I'm just folding it, just a pinch, enough to like leave the hole out at the bottom and to actually hem it properly so it doesn't look messy it will have this like distress effect right here but i don't think that looks bad like i think that's all right the pattern i worked in this first go was two double crochets into each whole space chaining one in between and it just looked so wrong when i stood up to try it on it just looked like clown shorts especially because of the slant that i had to it it just wasn't flattering at all so i went ahead and i frogged that off camera and instead I worked two half double crochets, chain one, two half double crochets into that round of holes. Once I got to the end, I slip stitch, chain two. And for the second round, I worked the same pattern of two double crochets, chain one, but this time into the chain one space from the previous row. And that gives it a granny stitch effect, which actually looked really, really nice once it was on and it looked a lot better than the double crochet. That is 100% for sure. <laughs> then I just sat down and just chilled out, did my crochet. It took me about maybe an hour, an hour and a half to do this entire project. Probably quicker if you have just complete free time. Um, it's a really good scrap yarn project if you've got pieces laying around from my other projects. It's a great way to use it up without having to go out and buy anything unless you want a specific colour. And here it is in all its glory. I think it's really cute. It's a fun little DIY for summertime and it just gives your outfits that little bit of like flair. Um, I also went ahead and created this ridiculously short mini skirt from a pair of black jeans that I had. It's actually very cute. Definitely not my style, but it's very cute. 
then I have my my personal favorite my Levi skirt which is a staple now in my wardrobe if you enjoy this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button if you like this kind of content crochet DIY crafting all that good stuff and don't forget to follow me on my socials yeah but you're making a lot of noise because you keep hitting that on the tripod <laughs> there's peanut you've really been involved today haven't you I'm gonna stop rambling. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hit the thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next one. <laughs> yeah, what he said. Bye!